Welcome back to another episode of Space Games and Space Beer with me, NPC. Uh, we are continuing our playthrough of X Rebirth. Uh, going to be going into our second session. This is a, uh, a nice little fun space sim from Egosoft Games. It is one of my favorites, and I'm excited to show you more of it. Today, we are drinking the Phaser Hazy IPA from Ecliptic Brewing. Ecliptic is a company in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Their address is uh, established 2013 Portland, Oregon, comma, Earth. Yeah. Anyway, this is a 6.5% IPA. It is infinitely drinkable. It is delicious. It is one of my favorites if I can find it around town. I really, really, really like it. So, uh, Ecliptic, of course, all of their stuff has uh, an outer space feel to it. That means we're going to have a lot of Ecliptic drinks on this show. Oh, God, that's delicious. Oh, God, so good. All right. Take a look. Before we begin, let's take a look through. I want to show you that I am running a modded game. I almost always play games modded if I can possibly do it. I love mods. Mods let me play the game the way I want to play them. And then some. Here's the list of mods. I'm going to just go slowly through it. If you would like, you can take notes. If any of these look or sound interesting to you. I do not have links to everything because that would take forever. Feel free to ask me any questions or just pause it, write down some names and uh, go check up out on your own. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Well, let's pick up where we left off. We are going to load our save from the old. Yep, yep. I have a, done a little bit more gaming since then because I got a brand new controller and an Xbox Elite and I uh, had to spend some time getting used to uh, or setting up my own, further configuring my own setup here. Hmm? This <laughs> the problem with drinking beer while talking is it gets you a little gassy. <laughs> so uh, I, I will mute out the burps. Okay, here we go. So the very first thing that we want to do is find a station, specifically one that will sell us some mods for the ship. And to do that, we're going to need to find a mechanic. Uh, oh, that's right. It changed. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I, I installed a mod that changes the cockpit a bit. The first, I gotta fix it. I gotta get up. And then go back in. All right, that's better. Okay, we need to find a mechanic because mechanic will be able to, will let us install some things. Now the mod that I installed creates this wide view here but the view's got problems for me and that problem is this i don't i don't like having the menu just be a little corner of the screen i want it to be the whole damn thing so we're gonna go get another cockpit you can buy several cockpit layouts here in the game already this mod specifically changes the way the default cockpit looks in addition to adding extra rooms to the ship and adding changing the way it looks from the outside. Uh, I like the extra rooms. I don't like this menu. So we're going to find a mechanic. I'm just going to hit up this first one on the list. Give him a call. It's going to tell us where they are. They're at this station over here. All right. Station information added to ship computer database. Nice. All right. Now, any of these little modules like this that are on top of a station, generally they're going to be docking ports. 
stations will often have two or more docks complete with a completely different cast of NPCs that you can meet while walking around them. Anyway, this one has... This is the Albion. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permitted. This one has the mechanic that we want who is going to sell us the things that we need. Oh, oh, oh. oftentimes you can find these on docking platforms. Let's do a quick run around. Uh, oh, is there stuff down here? Nope. Okay, no more. All right, this this uh, well lit open layout is more of an administrative slash trade station dock. You're going to find multiple dock layouts. This is one of the most accessible, I think, and it's well lit, but it also often doesn't have a lot of loot. Anyway, we're not concerned about loot. We want you. First thing Hello, we're going to do what can we offer you? is engage in small talk. I've got a mod that lets you do it at will, basically. You don't have to wait for them to randomly start spouting bullshit. We're going to do small Hi talk there. because... I couldn't have said it better myself. This chat has been rewarding for both of us. I wouldn't mind taking this a bit further. Oh, yeah. How may I assist? Oh, yeah. Because that's going to let us get a discount. Anything we trade from here on will be with a splendid discount. Fantastic. Hello, pilot. What can we offer you? Now we're going to reconfigure our cockpit. There's multiple verge options here. Personally, I like the merchant configuration. It's got one of the best of views. I think the information is all set uh, around the sides pretty well. It's just an easy to fly around cockpit configuration. So we're going to get that. Sure. And while we're at it, we're also going to get a better sure. engine. Uh, the different engines do different things. Of course, you know, there's the equalized engine, which we're sitting on right now. It's kind of an all around middle of the road, does everything OK. Uh, the Sidewinder is better for like slipping and sliding in combat and maneuverability. The supercharged engine is going to be better for uh, going zoom, you know, just getting the hell out of Dodge. I like going zippy zippy and uh, zippy slippy, so we're going to get a Sidewinder engine, but Jesus, that's expensive. Wow. All right, we're just going to get we're going to get the Mark II. I thought I would be able to afford a Mark III, but no, Mark II it is. Sidewinder engine Mark II. No, that's great. No, we don't. No. Yes. Okay, and let's see if we can get some good weapon mods. Uh, nice weapon mod there. How much is that? 20,000. Yeah, let's do that. And sure, let's get the mining laser mod. 20,000, that's great. You know, we should also get a, sh a, good, a better shield. Mine are the in the sector. Hey, what are you looking at? Oof, they're expensive. We're not going to get a better shield. <laughs> uh, we'll get some money soon Anything enough, Anything else though. you like? Don't be cheeky. We are going to get that advanced model. scanner. Do it. The advanced model. How do you do that? Why is that not working? Oh, there we go. Mine are the finest we in the sector. We cannot afford hey, any of the what software. what are you looking at? And there we go. May fortune favor you. Gotcha. All right. We got some ship mods installed. Next thing we're going to do real quick, we're going to look around here and see. Uh, so if you are talking to someone, who's this guy? Oh, great. He's a good example. I look so. forward to helping out. Okay, this guy, mining supplier. He's an NPC on the station. He's going to sell you stuff just like the uh, mechanic that we were talking to. But look up here at the top right. You see that uh, we this is a Lydia Industrial and we're neutral with him. We have zero reputation. While we are in a low rep stage, if we just find these people on stations and engage them in small talk, we can boost our reputation pretty quickly and reliably. 
while also getting valuable trade discounts. So let's do that right now. Hello, pal. There we go. What a refreshingly frank and accurate assessment. I enjoyed our chat so much that I'm feeling generous now. I look forward to helping out. So what we're actually going to get from this guy instead of a discount is something that you can do once per station. And that's once per station, not per dock. Remember, stations can have multiple docks. All we need to do is dock once at a station, find someone, and select Ask for Trade Offer Updates. That person will forever forward be sending us data on what's for sale and how much. This is how we are going to begin the foundation of our trade empire. Absolutely. All right. Gathering information gets you commissions, discounts, and so on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this guy, I ship listen. technician. Yep. He's with Albion. Hey, we have no rep with Albion. We want some. If only I were as adept with words as you are. This conversation has been the highlight of my day. I like you. I'm really looking forward to this. I know I can tell you about a specialing offer on a station nearby. You'll find this interesting. Okay, that's a few down. Uh, this is, that's the bitch. Uh, so, <laughs> this face usually means they're a bitch. Now, let's see. You can tell by the voice. Pilot, come and oh, get no. some bargains for She's me. She's fine. Yeah. She's fine. Heart of Albion. There's a certain voice that is so grating. I just freaking hate it. But anyway, Hiya. small talk. With your chat up skills, we could get really close. I'm glad our chat was so productive. Let's get down to business. I'm so excited to be helping. I can and broker a really good deal at this station if you're interested. I am. So every time we get these discounts from these discussions, they're going to appear here in the trade deals and in the uh, trade offers. And we're going to see these prices start to plummet as uh, we're getting better and better uh, offers on them. This place is going to buy uh, energy cells. Uh, that seems like a good price, I think. I think that's good. I think. <laughs> I forget the numbers. But anyway, we're not going to be doing any trading right now. We will revisit trading in the future. Again, right now, we're just laying foundation. Getting things. Oh, who are you? Uh, cell specialist. Hi there. Uh, oh, no. Goodbye. She's someone we could normally hire. That would be a hireable NPC. You can't small talk them. All right. We are going to run down here there's usually more loot 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 oh hey and one on the ground boom sometimes there's some over here i don't see any are you interesting mining supplier wholesome foods well this is an unpleasant surprise and we have no rep with them so let's well, hello. hope to build it up that is refreshing we think so alike I liked our chat Boom. so much that I'll put yeah. in a good word for you. I'm ready Thanks. to assist in any way I can. I know someone who knows someone. You'll get it. I'll help you get a good deal. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let's see, man. I don't have all day. Nice chat. Not. Uh, that's the voice. Ugh, gotta hate them. Sometimes there's stuff up here. Nope. All right. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Do, do, do. Oh, wait. So we could either run back to the station or to the ship or go to our menu seven and boom. Here we are. See the uh, cockpit layout has changed. I like, it's very nice, it's very open, and it's beautiful. But I also like that it is uh, one that has the larger screen. Yes, I love the larger screen. All right, quick rundown of what this is here. We're at the zone map, and we have a bunch of question marks here. This whole section, these top five right here, these are the five stations in this zone. We have no idea what these are. 
we kind of know what these are. What we're going to want to do, we can do this right now, is switch to Calibrated scan mode. HUD. Now, scan mode normally in the game can take a long time to get the information that you need. You got to turn on scan mode. You got to fly in real close. You got to basically fly up and down every inch of the station in order to scan it. Once again, I have installed a mod <laughs> that makes it so I don't have to do that. I can just get in close, wait a few moments, and get all the information I need. It balances it out, but I don't get all the discounts for free. I still have to hunt for those if I want them, but uh, um, whatever. So, boom. We're just gonna move close to a station in scan mode. It begins to scan. And there we have the station, boom. change our radar mode there. All right, we are at the farthest. I think I might have just gotten multiple stations. I did, I got three stations. I just flew through three stations worth of scanning here. So that, that's really good. Uh, we're gonna go get that one and then loop around for that one. All right. Oh, uh -oh. head back that way. The scan. Boom. One left. And go. Begin the scan. All right, so all the stations now scanned. Resetting HUD and scanners. We're gonna start collecting. It's been secured in storage. Oh, I grabbed something from space. Nice. We are gonna start collecting information. This is the Albion Skunk. Docking permission granted. All right, this is one of the most basic of docks. Very little stuff here. Uh, we can usually kind of zoom through, grab everything, boom, boom, boom. Oop, nothing up there, nothing over here. Oh, nothing. Okay, grab that, open that, grab that. There it is. Give me a oh, break. Got it. Those scaly green scumbags are everywhere. Fucking racists. Not really interested in talking to you, racists. Nothing up here. Uh oh. I may have just glitched. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it boggles the mind to think that these highways weren't here 40 years ago. La la la, that's great. Oh, there's another one. Damn it. Boom, got it. I know this is so entertaining. Okay, what do we got? Recruiting. Plutarch hands? It's a recipe for disaster. I'm very, uh, we got a mechanic. I'm very interested uh, in finding a black marketeer, How but I, I guess Hi I there. have to settle for a drone deal. You're a natural speaker. I'm enjoying this. This chat has been rewarding for both of us. I wouldn't mind taking this a bit further. Yeah, baby. How may I assist? Trade sure. offers, please. Thank you very much. Please and thank you. I love it. What's this guy got? I'll give you two minutes and no more. Hiya. 
With your chat up skills, we could get really close. Yeah, I'm glad sure. our chat was so productive. Let's get down to business. I'm so excited to be helping. I can broker a really good deal at this station if you're interested. I am. I'm ready to assist in any way I can. Are you scared by them using oh, no. Xenon components? Be afraid. Uh, I got I trapped in one. gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, so if you are, uh, if you talk to somebody who just said something aloud, then you'll get stuck in one of these. So, here we go. Let's just select something, I don't care. The difference between Xenon and your usual AGI is that AGI don't have the means to reproduce. Tell me more. I want to hear what comes next. We should, you know, be ready for um, the end. I mean, the Xenon. I don't follow. Why would you say that? Well, one can't deny that Xenon are still probably one of the greatest threats to the known universe. What a silver tongue you have. <laughs> I like that yeah. chat so much that I'll put in a good word for you. I'm ready to assist she in likes any my way tongue. I can. Yeah. I know someone who knows someone. You'll get it. I'll help you get a good deal. Damn right. Yeah, anything cool? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are looking good. Okay, antimatter not so good, but anyway, whatever. All right. Boom. Hi, pilot. Guess what I have for you. Oh, Hello, no. mate. oh sweet. If only I could speak as well as you. I'd be a politician. That was the best chat I've had in ages. You've made me feel pretty good and mellow. I really <laughs> hope I can help out. I can point you towards a station special offer if you're interested. All right. That's pretty much it. So, uh, oh, that, what is this? This is new. Oh, I guess I get to look inside my ship. That's pretty cool. All right. Do, do, do. Let's get back and go. Where are we heading? So, we got a person on that station, and we got a person on this station. We need to get... Yeah, the outside stations. All right, so this is the, the least exciting part. What I am going to do here is uh, fly around through these and get me some trade contacts. I just want to go ahead and pick them up before we head out of the system and actually get back to the adventure at hand find us some trade contacts we got one at this station yeah we did, that's right so we're gonna go to that outermost station get us a trade contact get a little bit of loot this one looks okay let's make sure I'm at the right place I do not have a trade contact here. All right, great. This is the boom. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Most people don't know that you can actually immediately skip all of that bullshit, the the whole conversation and the whole getting out of your chair and going back, and you can do it when you get back into the cockpit too. Ah, uh, is this one that I like? No. This this is one of the annoying stations. Ugh. One of my least favorite layouts. Simply because it's like long and drawn out. I'm just so used to, I know where all the loot is. Anyway. People just leave these crates laying around for me to come and rifle through. Hello, pilot. What can we offer you? Goodbye for now. Right. I wish you could play these games, but I do think it's kind of cool that, uh, you know, I don't know what ugh is, but this is a nice reference to one of the older games that Ubisoft made in the franchise. 
Need something? Here we go. Yes? What's up? Succinctly put, I can agree with that. I really enjoyed having that conversation. Need something? Agreed. All right, got my trade contact here. Let's just run around and, and oh, empty everybody's lockers. See if I can find a black market here, because I've got some black market goods. Nothing, 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 no. Uh, oh, loot, loot. Defense, captain, architect, mechanic. There might not be any in this system. I can't always remember what the icons mean. Oh, oh, anyway, we're done here. Uh, let's hit the next place. I think this is the right place. Nope. We're still at this place. One more. This one, that's what we want. There we go. This is the Albion's requesting permission to dock. Permission to dock. We look forward to seeing you. Ah, standing right here. Here we go. Hello, mate. No nope. for now. Damn. Yeah. Say what you have to say. All right, I will. Hello, pal. What a refreshingly frank and accurate assessment. I enjoyed our chat so much that I'm feeling generous now. I look forward to helping out. Absolutely. Thanks, buddy. Oh, slimy green oh, lizard. shut up. Things are everywhere. Let's go grab all the loots. Boop. One, two. Wait, on the floor. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that happen before. Loot inside loot. Zenintech in Plutarch hands? It's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, I would find the small talk thing more interesting if they actually said anything interesting, but they don't. It's always the same, like, four conversation prompts. Okay. Only one more. The farthest. Oof. Well, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> uh huh. There we go. This is the requesting permission to dock. Permission to dock. We look forward to seeing you. Nothing and nobody. Ugh, one of these again. Anything? Oh, right there. Boom. There's usually a thing here. And a thing here. And sometimes a thing up there. Come on. There we go. 
Come on, we just need a person. Are you a person? No, nope, you're not a person. You're not a person. Really beautiful, but... That's great. I don't really want to talk to any of you. Hey, my You'll friend. You'll do. Hey, my friend. Now that's Ooh, and a black mark deer right there. This yes. conversation has been the highlight of my day. I like you. Oh, uh, no I limits, heard. too. That's a faction that's hard to get <laughs> credit with here. But I suppose you need my help? Yes. How did you know I wanted to hear that? We got on rather well. That's quite unusual for me. I suppose you need my help? Stretch to some trade now and I'll make it really worth your while. Will I suppose you need my do. help. All right. My inventory. We are going to sell a lot of stuff. There we go. Now we are rich again. Well, <laughs> relatively speaking. Bye. All right. Uh, Hi, pilot. Nope. Guess what I have for you. Bye for now. That just sounds like a proposition. Truly beautiful. Yeah. Um, believe. Yep. That is everything. So man, let's take a look. All right, we got eyes on all five stations. Fantastic. Time to get the hell out of here. We could do more. We could really nickel and dime this. We could go to each station. We could go to each of their docks. We could run around. We could get all the loot that we could pick up. We could smooth talk everybody and we could build up a whole lot of cred, uh, reputation with the factions. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to do that off camera. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this platform. Step on back to my pilot seat. And save this game. And I'm going to call this session here because when we next meet back up, we're going to be leaving the session, this, uh, this system and getting back on with the actual plot <laughs> following that, 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 uh, that plot marker right there onto the, the next stage of the story. Yeah, I'm going to run through and do it because I'm kind of a completionist. Well, no, that's wrong. I'm not a completionist. However, there's all this loot sitting around. I've just got to go get it. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, employee gained a skill. Great. I didn't even know I had an employee. Um, all right. Well, let's call it here. Thank you for watching Space Games and Space Spirit within PC. Again, I have been drinking the Phaser Hazy IPA from Ecliptic Brewing. It's fucking delicious. Ecliptic, if you're looking to sponsor something, has hit me beer. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.